One of the biggest problems in Python is setting up a, a, a nice way where you can install dependencies. So you may be, be wanting to create a virtual environment within a code space and do that automatically. So I'm going to show you here something that I've done to this Docker file within the dev container definition. So you can see here that that's the dev container uh, directory, the hidden directory, and I'm within the Docker file over there. So the, the Docker file will allow me to uh, make any changes to the system. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm defining uh, an argument, which is uh, which is essentially this one right here, which is I called uh, vm underscore path, and it's going to be this uh, home slash vs code slash vm. Vs code is the user. The home directory is going to be always be there, so you're ensured that that's that's uh, there and available to you. If you were using some other image that is not coming from the defaults, then uh, then it wouldn't work. So you might want to double check that. But in this case, I'm using this image, which will always come with a VS Code user. All right. So next, uh, what I'm going to be doing is I am going to copy the requirements that text uh, into the container when they get, that gets built. And I'm going to run this uh, snippet over here. Let's go uh, bit by bit to see what's going on there. So I'm going to run as the VS Code user. I am going to um, run the VM module from Python. And I am going to create this uh, home slash home slash VS code slash VM. The part that gets created is this one. This uh, initial part is already existing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pip executable that is going to be coming from the VM path that I defined in the beginner. Again, if I scroll a little bit here, you can see that's, uh, that's right there. So the VM path, path bin pip ensures that I'm using pip from that virtual environment. I am not going to check the version. I'm not going to do a cache uh, installation and I'm going to install the requirements that text specifically. This one is coming from uh, from the one that we copied over here. There we go. Uh, I couldn't find it. So uh, that that completes the the side of things where you are kind of like configuring how to do the virtual environment on the Docker file. But next, let's take a look at what that dev container JSON looks like because we want to make make some changes to that so that our editor knows what Python to use. And I close this out. And there's a couple of different things here that we're going to be using. First, we're setting the Python default interpreter path to the one that comes in home VS Code VM in Python. So now by, by the time VS Code loads these, it will have this uh, path already existing with this version of Python that uh, comes from the virtual environment. So anything here uh, is going to be automatically automatically pointing to that virtual environment. And uh, VS Code is going to know that it's a virtual environment and it's going to activate that. Um, you know, I think this is, this is tremendous because I don't need to do anything specific here. Uh, I'm scrolling up and down to just make sure that I'm not uh, missing out on anything. Uh, and this dev container, this code, code space session has been started with this configuration already. So let's try it out. Let's see what happens when I open a new terminal. So I'm going to open the new terminal and I want to show you this, uh, which is uh, very important to make sure that you have everything run. The first thing, I didn't activate anything. You know, with virtual environments, you need to activate. And you can see here that the first thing that happened was the source home VS Code VM being activated. That is because VS Code behind the scenes understands that it is existing within a virtual environment. So any virtual, any terminal that I create, so if I go here and say I want to create a new terminal, it will do the same thing. It will go ahead and create a, a source. It will do the run this uh, script, and then it will put me it will put me into that uh, virtual environment. You can see here the confirmation of that. That is this uh, thing in my prompt called VM. Next, just to triple, uh, triple make sure that uh, things are correct, I'm going to run some Python commands. I'm going to say which Python is going to be the one that is coming from the VM. And I'm going to say, uh, let's say which uh, pip, same thing, uh, Python dash dash version. It's going to be 3.10 because that's the one that I used to create. So anything that I do, for example, pip install pytest, is going to go into that uh, virtual environment. So there you go. That's how you set up a virtual environment to work with code spaces and how you configure it and how you verify that the operation was 
uh, done successfully.